okay so hello and welcome back to the new video of the maven tutorial series so for this video we will be seeing uh, how to create and manage multi module projects in maven right so till now we have covered uh, we have seen the maven projects uh, that is the only uh, single one maven project right uh, you just go here you create the maven project uh, you uh, modify the pom.xml file you add some dependencies you you know how uh, how to deal with the plugins you know what is a maven life cycle now we we in this video we will be seeing how uh, seeing how to create a multi module project inside maven okay so to do do that uh, let me just first create a new project uh, so that i can uh, explain you clearly uh, new project let me call it as my site okay so my site is the project name of my okay so my site is my project name so i'm using java i'm using maven kotlin oracle 19 and let me just go ahead and create my project on this window okay so here i hope uh, you got some idea about what is happening over here okay so now we have created our project uh, and uh, build is also successful uh, created uh, our java file main file is also here okay so now if we go ahead and create a multi module what is what is the meaning of multi module uh, it it's it is nothing but a module you are creating modules of of your project inside your big project all right so uh, i will give you an example uh, so look at here our main main parent tag is my site and under which we are creating uh, now uh, i will show you uh, three three new categories for uh, three new modules to be precise for our my site parent tag so we will use util uh, for the utilities classes and we use uh, core where our all logic will be there and i will use a ui module i can create where all the ui part of my project will be there okay so uh, you see uh, this hierarchy right one parent tag is there under which three modules are being created and each module will uh, have their own java classes or java files uh, to which they are implementing right so uh, let me go ahead and create all these modules fine uh, uh, to create a module inside a maven project in intellij idea you just come here and click on your my site uh, project name whatever you have given click right click new and you can see module is there click on module and name your module okay so our uh, first module name is uh, okay my util let me call it as my util okay uh, java will be there maven will be there and uh, this time you can see one intellij idea is asking for the parent tag if you click over over it you can see two uh, options are there one is none that means this is a there is no parent tag for this module this is a alone standalone module and for but now i am using i want this module to come under the my site project okay so to do this i will select the parent as my site and i will go ahead and create my module okay so here you can see as soon as i create my util pack a module you can see my util folder is there created and, and inside which it has its own pom.xml file and one pom.xml file which is our main project's pom.xml file that is my my site's pom.xml file if you, if i open this pom.xml file which is of my parent tag you can see here also uh, one module tag is being created and under which uh, they have created my util module tag uh, which is which states that hey this is the parent tag for these many modules okay so this my site is my parent tag for my util module okay and similarly if we go inside the my utils pom.xml file we can see one parent tag is getting created over here and it it states that hey this is my util module modules parent is my site 
okay so the artifact id is there group id is there and origin is there okay so this is how we differentiate between uh, who is parent and who is child child in the sense with who is module which comes under the that parent okay so this is for the parent and this is for the child or to be precise it's for the module okay modules form the XML file and it is parents mock form the XML file okay so the first I have created uh, then I have to create a core again the same uh, pattern you will follow you will go ahead and create the module and this time I will write my core okay and everything will be same my, my side will be the head this and you can see uh, sorry for the typo or oh, it should be my my yeah I, I hope you understand so you just go ahead and I'll, uh, again you write my slash ui i guess ui that you are trying to create yeah ui so my ui create it okay so now you can see this is our for main main and this is a uh, util ui core all these pack modules are being created okay so let me just clear it out so that you guys can understand uh, clearly okay so what i will do is uh, i will show how you can use the classes of one module inside the an another module okay so till now we have created the module and now we will see how to manage those, those modules and how to use the different classes of different modules inside the different modules okay so let me just go ahead and create one pa packaging structure over here inside util so to create it uh, just right click on it click on new and <coughs> there is so package just come here my util src main java yeah, okay so this you can right click on this and you can create package okay so org dot pack example dot utilities i will name this package as utilities and inside this package uh, i'll create one java class uh, and name it as my utils okay so you can see a uh, utility inside my utility module uh, i have created one package name as utilities and inside that package i have created one class my utils okay so just to understand the basic uh, uh, struct how workflow how this works i will create one uh, method over here okay so th so this method will be public static it should not return anything uh, so the return type should be void public static void uh, and the method name should be a print name uh, and it will accept one string string as the parameter from the user string name okay and after that st or ing string and after inside this uh, it will just simply prints uh, the name of the user by greeting them hello there and just append the name that we are getting from the user okay hello there and you just write welcome just to greet message for the user so this is uh, this method will do okay so we have created uh, one package inside which we have created one class and this class implements this methods uh, which is print name which is uh, taking one string uh, and just printing that string by the some other words okay uh, now if i go now i want this method to be used inside my core module okay so how can i do that so i i just go inside my core module i will go inside my source i will go inside my main java and i will come over here and now if if you see uh, here also i have this main class so first of all to use this class which is written inside the util module i have to add the dependency of my util module inside my core module okay so how to add the dependencies uh, i hope you know we have discussed in our previous module uh, previous uh, lectures also so to de declare the dependency inside the mu mu core module we will go inside the pom file of the mu core and we will introduce one 
tag name as dependencies as the parent tag and inside which we have dependency tag and we'll artifact id as mu core not mu core we will add the myutil com dot example and okay fine so we have added the dependencies uh, of the util module inside the mu codes form dot xml file so after creating this dependency you just come over here inside the main file of this mu core and if you come over here and you just write that class name what is the class name I, if i can recall my utils my utils dot okay first we have to import that package okay so the to import import oh what what, what is the package name i forgot just come over here org dot example dot utilities okay wait let me check the okay so we don't need to import i guess uh, that is not required over here so we have done uh, uh, we have implemented this uh, method over here and we are trying to access that method inside the another module which is the mu core uh, core module uh, which is over here and to access it uh, we just need to we just need to again uh, reload all the maven for this okay so if i go inside my maven maven core not the maven core maven lifecycle and we'll say okay and this okay so here you can see uh, since we have added the dependencies of mu util module inside the mu core module we have to load we have to load maven changes okay so if you click over here load the maven changes it will uh, it will get all those uh, update parts that we have done it will create uh, maven will load all this stuff and after that you can just come over here and write out and uh, just to create the utilities my utils my utils dot print name now you can see we have getting that uh, print name and here, here it is asking to give the name uh, as a parameter so we'll pass uh, what is so uh, we can we can alex alex we can pass okay and now i don't we don't think this is needed okay so I am getting error over here cannot resolve the matter okay 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 so since the return type is void so we don't need to write inside this we just need to call that method because the print line uh, print statement is in still inside that method so that's why we don't need to write again this out okay and import IntelliJ IDEA is also importing that module inside of this and now if I go ahead and click on run it should print hello world first and then this method call will be executed where here you can see hello world and then after that hello there alex welcome okay so hello world is getting printed from here here itself if we if, we, if we don't get confused uh, i will just comment it out uh, now you can see only uh, hello there alex welcome should be get printed over here yeah it is it is printing so here you can see we are creating multiple modules uh, so we'll give in i will give you a scenario okay so this is a this is a web application that you are trying to build and there are multiple modules inside this okay so so all the utility classes are there inside with this module all the ui related stuff you keep inside this ui module and all the core or the logic part we are you are trying to implement in your website is comes over here okay so all you can create them separate modules and to use to have the accessibility inside modules to modules if one module is trying to use the utilities of uh, another module so here we have seen uh, we have created one package and inside which we have created one class and 
this class method we are trying to in access inside the MU code that that too we have also can do just we need to add the dependencies for that uh, module inside the mo target module in which we are trying to access that uh, utilities okay yeah as you can see we had added the dependencies so this is how uh, we can uh, manage and create the multi module projects inside maven i hope you got some idea uh, and thank you for watching this video